Floof Wants a Phone by Jade Maitre Oh, how Floof really wanted a phone. All his friends seemed to have one. Mum and Dad were always looking at theirs. It always seemed like interesting things were happening on a phone. But Floof had a very big problem. Big pause. Any time he saw a phone left somewhere, he would sidle up and... try to turn it on and... Nothing would happen. Floof's big paws were too big. And this was particularly unfair because one day, what should he find left alone in a park but someone's phone? Floof picked it up with his big paws. He asked everyone whether it was their phone. Floof was a good boy. Nobody knew whose phone it was. Why don't you try turning it on, said someone. You might find out who it belongs to. But Floof had big paws. He tried and tried, but the phone wouldn't work for him. Then another dog turned up. It's mine, he said. Oh, good, said Floof. He was happy he could return it. This dog was called Ollie, but he had another problem. Big claws. I got it for my birthday, said Ollie, but I've never used it. My claws are too long. I can't get it to work. And how can I have any fun if I can't use a phone? Both Ollie and Floof looked a bit sad. But then Floof brightened up. Why don't we use it as a ball, Floof said. I will throw it to you and you to me. And who would have thought it, but big claws and big claws were perfectly suited to playing throw and catch. It was the best fun two dogs have ever had with a phone in the entire history of phones. Just remember, please don't use your parents' phone as a ball, but go outside and play with a real one like Floof and Dolly. They're lots of fun. The end. Thank you for reading with storyberries.com. Free stories for kids.